shot. So all that big willy talk, hop you up, playing yourself, yo, playing yourself, yo, playing yourself. Oh no, actual fact. Yo, this story. No, this story's literally not moving as much as I think it should be. I know it was out there a while ago. Half the country. Have you guys really processed this? We've talked about it. A hundred and something million people have their credit and personal information hacked from Equifax. Hacked? Yeah, like stolen. This was, how long ago did this happen? Maybe less than a year? No, oh, yeah, less than a year. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Remember this? Yo, but why, was... don't you, why don't you focus on the half of the country that didn't happen? <laughs> Glass half full, right? <laughs> well, well, here's the problem. <clears throat> Another 2.4 million have been affected by this data breach from Equifax. I mean, which is really nothing when you think about the hundreds of millions of people who have already had their identification, information, credit report, social security number, and everything has already hit the internet. Ugh. So the fact that this isn't a bigger story is... Uh, Congratulations, you played yourself. And we got to give a congratulations, you played yourself to Mayor de Blasio, no, according to the news. That's no. right, man. He thought he had himself a school chancellor from Miami. That's right. School chancellor's name was going to be Alberto Cavallo. Well, yeah. Alberto, on live television, de Blasio thought it was a done deal. Alberto says, you know, look, I like y'all. I like your family. But nah. To say that there isn't political alignment between Mayor de Blasio and myself uh, would be a lie. I met this man. I met the First Lady of New York. I understand their hearts. I understand their minds. I understand the vision they have for the city. And I can tell you that that is a vision that I embraced. As I said earlier, the decision that I have made about that position is, however, a decision I can no longer sustain. Uh Uh-oh. I am breaking an agreement between adults to honor an agreement and a pact I have with the children of Miami. Congratulations. You wait, played wait, wait, yourself. Wait. He did this to him live on TV? He did. Yes. yes. That's what I said. I said. You couldn't pull him to side family. It's not going down. Nah, well, that's... then Johnny said the news went out. The dude said he tweeted. What did he tweet, Johnny? Oh. Uh, dodged bullet. Yeah. Wow. And people are saying Dodge that bullet. working with de Blasio would have been a bad. He's saying I yeah. dodged a bullet by not having to go work up there. They, that's what they're implying. And de Blasio's like, we're a little confused up here. We'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, wow. That is bad. That's wow. a diss, man. <sighs> Heavy. We reached out to the city hall for a comment. I don't even know if they're confused. I don't even know if they have a comment. The only comment they have is, guess what you need to get Congratulations. Us? You played, we played yourself. Ourselves. They asked us to congratulate them. <laughs> Laura, what's on your list? Uh, I want to give a big congratulations to our former interns, intern Kayshawn and the real Juan. Uh-oh. The real Juan. Okay. We're going to bring this back up at 740. Let me tell you how we've been, you know, we've been taking care of these guys, you know, guiding them. Have we? we? We yes, I have you know what I mean. We I we, we help them out with their internships. We even gave the real one some airtime. He's we did popping out we, here, and we also ruined his relationship. He's but lit. Well, he ruined his own relationship, Eva. That was his choice. Oh, but oh, oh. you know what I mean. We we've helped him every day. Mm-hmm. Yesterday was their last day. Do you think they said goodbye to us? <laughs> a formal thank you for everything. Nothing. So uh, you know, a lot of interns. Uh, can we get you know your email? Can we keep in touch? <laughs> thank you for everything. <laughs> you know, I've even given plenty of referrals to interns. <laughs> this they just left without saying anything. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. They're gone. I, I can't believe. They're I was gone. Sh- I was shocked though, because I like both those kids a lot. I thought they were two of our best interns we've had, yeah. and I, I can't believe they didn't say like, "Hey guys, it's my last day. Just so you know, uh, it's been a lot of fun." Maybe it wasn't fun for them. Maybe they hated your guts. Oh, maybe they were like, "Dang, you guys not gonna acknowledge it's our last day." All maybe right. they thought you was yeah. Well, maybe you- they thought you should know it's the last time day since they're interning for you. How would Us? we know that? I don't know why you're making it me. It's actually you guys the are the ones, in this case. You guys are the ones complaining. I didn't even know they was gone. So maybe that's why I didn't say goodbye, because my name's on the show. I don't even know. It's, it's K- Krayshawn? Krayshawn. Krayshawn. You don't even know their name. Exactly. So why would they say goodbye? Well, this, Juan, to us. Well, yo, you Juan put one on the said, air every day. Yes. Bro. He got an amazing That's opportunity. That's the best looking intern's ever gotten by. Ever. A, ever. I've never seen anything like that since I've been here. I mean, but maybe they have zero appreciation for it. No, I don't. but I don't think that's no. it because they were nice kids. I don't think that's it. What do you think it is? 
I don't know. I just think it's awkward that they so were just like. So what are you guys? Who you giving the congratulations you played yourself to? To both of them. To both of them for just not being for just not being being adult like and being like, oh, I'm leaving a job. I should go say something. Congratulations, I mean, well, you played yourself. I give the congratulations you played yourself to us. They were interning for us. We didn't know it was their last day. Did you know it was their last day? No, no one did. And we weren't told. They're that. supposed to tell us. Yeah, Pat told me yesterday. After I, I knew yeah. it was their last day. No, there you go. You're Somebody lying. told me. No, I'm, I I promise you. Was it Lou? Did you tell me? Somebody told me. Lou yeah, didn't no, know either. I promise. I knew. Somebody told you me it was the last day. Bam, bam, bam. That's who told me. It was John. It was John. No, no, sorry, what? sorry. East Styles. East Styles told me East their last no, name. He knew too. John, John knew too. John knew too. John knew. Wow. John John knew. Yo, DJ John was so ready to get that. Yo, he was like, get, get him that out. wine out of here, boy. Yo, 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 he kept real it real wine. <laughs> he kept it real. He's gonna come in here. He might have a special kind of pep in his step when DJ John comes floating yo, in here today. Yo, he's gonna skip in here. That's great. That's, that's why he was unbothered yesterday when you guys mm-hmm. were talking, taking polls. Like, go ahead, take a poll. <laughs> he's got out of here. Out of here. But then there's Trump. Let's go, Donald. What's he got today? He was going after Alex Baldwin. Uh, you mean Alec Baldwin? Well, no, he put Alex. Congratulations. <laughs> you played yourself. So, wait, what's the story here? <laughs> Apparently, Alec Baldwin was asked about playing Trump and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And Alec Baldwin said it was terrible having to do that. Well, then, uh, then guess what? I'm going to go a surprising direction for you. And I'm going to flip it and give Alec Baldwin. Congratulations. You played yourself. Trump went on to say, that revived your career, your your failing career. That's, that's you know, he loves telling far. people their career that's too far. failing. That's too far. And and then Trump said that uh, it, it was also terrible us having to watch you do it. Which why? I was going to give Trump another congratulations you played yourself because we why? all loved watching Alec Baldwin. And why were Trump. you watching? And why were you watching? Because all he did was make fun of you. But hold on. Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, he, the direct quote is Alec, but now he corrected it. Alec Baldwin, who's dying mediocre career. Yo, hold on. Media? Yo, oh no, mediocre. Hold oh, on. Media. Alec Baldwin, whose dying mediocre career was saved by his terrible impersonation of me on SNL, now says playing me was agony. Alec, it was agony for those who were forced to watch. Please bring back Daryl Hammond, funnier and a far greater talent. <laughs> yo, he went, yo, he has time. When he has time for you, he has time for you. If I'm Alec Baldwin, I swear to God, I'm printing and framing that. That's iconic. How hard he went at you. He, but hold on. Congratulations, you played yourself. I am gonna say I'm gonna line up with Donald Trump on one thing. Let's not say it was agony for Alec Baldwin. He loved it. He came back and did it every... He became a cast member after a successful yes. career. He decided to basically be like a cast member on SNL just to do it. So please don't say it was agony to do it. It was great. And you were awesome. Congratulations. Well, you played Alec yourself. felt like it was a duty to the American people. He had to he do had it. He had to do it.